plus 3.4 pass slash y2d entries for debtors and creditors in this task we need to record all the pass and y2d invoices for er invoice and also ap invoice so the first instruction says that enter the following pass slash y2d invoices for that test so to key in ar invoice we go to the my favorite to see whether we have shortcuts or not so we can see that our my favorite is empty because we create a new account book just now so to add on the shortcuts i right click at the empty space and click organize icon and i choose ar invoice and the next one is ap invoice then i just click on add button then I just click OK. So to key in the AR invoice, I click on the icon AR invoice and I start with the first invoice which is debtor customer 1. And general type sales and after that we go to the invoice number. As I mentioned earlier, the invoice number we will follow the system numbering but only for this task which is task 3.4 this invoice number you need to delete and replace it with the number that have been given in the task 3.4 so the invoice number is 12345 why you need to key in this invoice number because this is all the past invoice so basically you already generated this invoice and sent to the customer so when you want to record back your invoice into the autocon system you must tally your invoice number with the one that you already sent to your customer so that's why that is the purpose of key in the invoice number so after that you go to the date date is on 16 of december 2019 Y minus 1 means 2019. Current year minus 1. So after that, you key in the description. The description is balance brought forward. Okay, and the amount is 5000. And the description mean description also balance brought forward. So what I can do, I can just copy the description here and I just paste it here. So, we have the next invoice that we need to key in. So, before that, I just tick after save and I click on save button. The second invoice is still customer 1. The invoice number 12359. The date is on 4th of January. 4th of January 2020. Description we can just paste balance brought forward and the amount is 3000 and save. The next one, the third one is customer 1 again. The invoice number is 12388. 12388 and the date is 9 February and description here balance brought forward amount is 7000 and the fourth one is still customer one the invoice number is 12490 description balance brought forward amount is 5000 save and the next one will be customer 2 so customer 2 the invoice number is 12396 the date is on 25th of February description balance brought forward as well 6000 and the last one for AR invoice is for customer 2. The invoice number 12501. Date is 22nd of March. Description balance brought forward 2000. 
So before we save our last AR invoice, I untick after save. Then only I click on the save button. So basically, that's uh, how we record AR invoice. The next one is to record the AP invoice. So you just need to go to the AP invoice icon here, the same step. We start with the first AP invoice which is supplier A. General type is purchase. Supplier invoice number 223344. For the supplier, you don't have to key in this invoice number according to the supplier invoice number. Because this invoice number is our own record purpose. The only important is this supplier invoice number. So the invoice number here you just skip, go to the date. The date is on 20th December 20, sorry, 2019. Y-1. And the description is the same, balance brought forward. Amount is 4000 and description here. And after that, we tick after save because we have another one to key in. So I click save and I proceed with the second one. Second one, still supplier A. The supplier invoice number is 223355. The date is on 22nd of February. Description is balance brought forward. And the amount is... 5,000 So before I save I untick after save And then I save the AP invoice That is for the second instruction Which is AP invoice Now we proceed to the last instruction Which is Update the debtors Slash creditor last month Y to the balance from AR and AP transaction Then verify the Y to the balance to do this, you have to go to the tools and then you have to go to the manage fiscal year. Then on your bottom here, there's three options here. What you need, you, what you need to choose is you need to choose the third one, which is update last month year to date balance from AR and AP. So when you click at the last one, it says that do you really want to update last month year to date balance? You click yes and it will ask you one more time whether you really want to update or not. If yes, you just click yes and here you can uh, see nothing happen. So what you can do is you just close, go back to DGL and you go back to the year to date balance maintenance. Previously, there is a negative 19,000 here. So now after you update, the amount has become zero. It means that your year to date balance has uh, become uh, balanced. So that's how you check your year to date balance. Then you can just close and go back to the home page.